after two days thinking and talking with other people, I, it was so hard for me to actually choose between Thea and um, Terra, uh, one of the new heroes, Tara, one of the new heroes in uh, Cow Dragons. Honestly, it was hard because this lady here uh, is having absolutely great raid skill. Also, I can very fast skill up her. Uh, I have like 460 and I can actually buy even extra from the goblin shop. Uh, here is like 50, bro. I have 9k here sitting. So the main reason was just the skill damage. If I check uh, Thea, she is providing 15%. This is like 5% skill damage less. And <clears throat> this 5% is even even more from normal uh, normal skill damage uh, the heroes are receiving maybe i'm going to just find something that have skill damage on it maybe it should be mage in general but my point is uh yeah maybe i'm going to go with this one as you can see it's just four percent this is five talents over this and there's not many talents that actually can increase your hero skill damage so if you want to hit with Lydia, you want to hit hard, as hard as you can. So that was the huge um, thinking on my side about the deputy of my Lilia. I want my Lilia to do huge amount of damage. Now I'm going to explain you what is my decision and I'm going to go over steps why I actually do that. Now I'm not going to go that much over the second uh, second spells but one spell is absolutely crazy and it should be mentioned here now first thing i, I think everybody is familiar with the Thea. it's not awakening it's far away from the awakening i still actually need i can i have 61 of these tokens but i'm not going to use it over the heroes from the gold keys this spell needs to be leveled up two times and this one needs to be leveled up one time so I, I'm, I don't, I'm not going to be able to awake Thea. Now, if Thea was awakened, it's going to be Thea. Now, the awakening of the Thea is giving her legion and two um, nearly friendly legions this shield, which is shield factor 100. So, this is huge amount of shield to two more targets. And that was crazy. So, no issue. If you have awakened, uh, awakened Thea, it's not even you should not even think about that but since i don't have it what is the bigger um okay let's start with the strong points uh over the heroes now they are again giving shield and giving 15 percent hero skill damage now if we check the rest of the spells it's just hero uh, skill damage taken reduction which is good for um for survivability having Waldir, Velen, lily on the battlefield is is something that you have to keep in mind from the splash damage, even if they don't target you and they target the legion close to you, you're going to receive this extra damage. And of course, this for flank units, but this don't actually matter that much because I run my Lilia Thea with Celestials. I have to mention that, and they're flying units. So this uh, extra buffs is going to apply also to the flying units. Here we have. Uh, now, when the Legion gets shield, attack is increased by 10%, up to maximum 20%. We don't care that much. So, this is actually Thea. The strong side is reducing the hero skill damage. I think this may be one of the most important things. The shield, since the shield is giving, you know, uh, is not putting troops in hospital. Shield is just shield. You have to break the shield. Till the healing lightly uh, lightly wounded is going to just increase how many you're going to have in the hospital so shield is better from healing for the people who may have this question in their mind shield is better from healing and yeah just five percent less hero skill damage on the other side we have tara that is giving 20 percent hero skill damage five percent more also is doing healing up to 500 now on the tail side, the shield is even bigger, like two times from the healing from this hero. But still, here we have 5% more hero skill damage. But that's not all. This spell is the spell that actually make me thinking, should I go for tail or should I go for Tara? And when in battle, the legion and four surrounding legions. So if I run like four legions, I run three legions, three mage legions. 
so for sure they're going to receive this buff uh surrounding the friendly legion get keen and resistance for 10 seconds 10 seconds is huge amount of time and the resistance is damage taken reduction 10 percent something like hero skill damage reduction which is 15 percent on the tear side but in the same time, if you get hit by other mage or marksman, this is also going to apply there. This is important uh, to be mentioned. One is only for the hero skill damage. The second one is for everything. And increase the attack bonus. So 15% is going to receive my Wilder Valiant Legion. 15% attack is going to increase also my Bertrand Tohar Legion. So this is very, very important to be mentioned. And right now i was on the huge um huge dilemma but most likely i'm going to go with the tail <clears throat> most likely i'm going to go with the tail and i'm going to explain why first of all the shield is bigger and this shield is not going to put uh units in hospital so here i'm going to give the point to tail two times bigger shield and in same time no uh, troops in the hospital this is like two points actually Hero skill damage bonus, I'm going to give one point uh, here to Tara. The second thing is uh, this hero skill damage taken reduction is 15%. The damage resistance or reduction that the Tara is providing is 10% with 5 less from the hero skill damage. But if you're clever and you know what you do, most likely this 15% hero skill damage reduction is going to be more valuable for you. On same time, you also uh, this damage reduction also I think apply for the counter attack, so you cannot escape from counter attack. <laughs> if you hit somebody, you're going to receive counter attack. So maybe here I'm going to give one to one uh, on the both heroes, uh, and maybe one point, uh, one point I'm going to give uh, to Tara. Just because she's going to give attack bonus to all the legions. So, so far, so far, it's like 50-50. Two points from the rage skill to, uh, to, uh, to Thea. And two points for the second skill for uh, Tara. Now, here is basically why I decide to go with Thea. And uh, the Tara is having this gathering skill. I don't like this gathering skill, but if I have a chance to re, uh, to remove this gathering skill and put something like uh, we have it in the season SOS, we can basically put some other skill on this place. Uh, most likely, I'm going to get Tara. If I don't have it, most likely I'm going to use um, I'm going to use Thea. And Thea, all the skills she's having is is no trash skills like engineering, peacekeeping, gathering. This is yeah the skills that you don't need on the battlefield. So yeah, so far it's going to be Thea. If we have again, we can choose which uh, skill we can use on specific heroes. Most likely, I'm going to use and test Tara. But for now, it's going to be the Thea, my leader. <laughs> so yeah, uh, I, I think uh, Thea is is still even in the season one have a great great future. But for the people who is just starting, like my free-to-play account, this hero is a gold. This hero is a gold. Because so far I have a lot of Awakened Mages. And this one is hard to find a place for her. But for my free-to-play account, definitely Tara is going to find a place there. Thank you very much for watching this video. And I hope you have a great day. If you want to support my work, you can become a member of my channel and get access to all membership videos and all the live streams on top of that you're going to also get shout out in every video i make till you have your membership